Hello everyone, Captain Fuzzkins here, and what is going on here? Um, basically, this is a glitch from GoldenEye64 that we used to pull off quite often and quite regularly, where we would get these people with no faces, whose heads would then randomly morph into textures if you were behind them. Uh, we were able to pull this one off quite regularly, and we actually would do this for fun to see how many we can get and see how many textures we can get them to morph into. So... <clears throat> it also does some other fun stuff like corrupts like the laser blast, sometimes it corrupts the projectiles and the rockets. So the question is, how exactly do we go about doing this? It's actually quite easy to reproduce. Um, basically we have a file here with everything unlocked. I haven't been able to recreate this with cheats off. So I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure it's probably the all guns cheat that messes with it. But I haven't been able to reproduce it yet with the cheats off, but cheats on, you know, I just put these on for fun. DK modes make it easier to see. Uh, you want to go to the first surface level. Difficulty doesn't make a difference. I prefer double seven mode because you can mess with things. It's fun to give them tons and tons of health so then they can be alive for hours. And basically what we're going to do is we have to fail the first objective but it's not simply failing the objective. You have to actually get there. And essentially what happens is you complete it and then you fail it. And I think it's something with that that triggers the people spawning that messes with the um, texture mapping most likely. Because it seems that he only appears when it's a certain face rotation. Like uh, for GoldenEye 007, if you've ever played it, the guards in the map, there's maybe four or five active faces at a time and there's like a rotation it goes through. So when you get a specific rotation, that's when this guy gets triggered. I think his face somehow glitches up and he doesn't spawn right. So anyway, we go to the tower, the satellite dish, and we want to go in to complete our first objective, which is to power down the satellite. Normally you do this by shutting off the computer. Sorry for the fraps frame drops. Yeah, so you go up to it and you deactivate it and you'll successfully complete it, but then what you gotta do is blow it up. I prefer to use time or remote mines because it's more fun that way. And then you can see what happens after that. So basically just throw some mines on there and step out on the balcony. And then when you detonate them, eventually, emulators are weird. When you detonate them, it'll cause guys to randomly just spawn there and normally they'd shoot at you. But since we have invisible, they don't care. And basically, he has a chance to spawn again, like I said, if he's in the proper face rotation of the game. Uh, you can tell that it's working, though, because other stuff will get corrupt, like the lasers will get messed up. Sometimes your crosshair gets screwed up. The rockets will get, like, weird. I've seen paintballs go square at some points. Uh, but he doesn't appear to be here yet, but, you know, all hope isn't lost, because there are ways to spawn more guards in this snap. You could spawn technically infinite, although only spawn four at a time, and if there's four guys alive there, they won't spawn until you kill off more of them. But basically, you can try to go in this door, and it only works on the first surface level where that door's alarmed, so if you try to go in, it'll shut off. There's also a security camera and an alarm somewhere else in the level that you can use to do this as well. But basically, again, if you're in the proper rotation, you'll see him. And he acts just like any other guy, but the problem with him is that his face just isn't there. So that's just like probably their mapping. But then when you get behind him, his face just starts glitching and turning into random textures, usually what he's wearing. And I think you get a brief glimpse of what his face is supposed to be. And also things like the laser gets messed up. Um, other random things will happen. Sometimes they don't always mess up like the ammo on the rockets and all that, but it, I've seen it happen. And I've seen paintballs go square once or twice as well. So, but it's a fun thing to do, and you can reproduce it pretty regularly. I'm pretty sure you need the cheats on. But it's just a little fun thing we used to do all the time in Goldeneye, just to mess around with things. And yeah, that's basically it. So I hope you guys find this informative, I guess. Although it's an old game, so it's not really too informative. But yeah, either way, so... Hope you had fun watching, and hopefully you guys can pull it off.